Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on Roblox Studio, how to make a game like Tower of Hell. And today I am doing how, like, making the end button part, so you can actually finish and get your wins and points. So, um, first you're going to want to create the end part. I already have one here. Um, I've created it. So... You don't need the studs part, um, that, are, that is in all the other, um, levels, but in it, you can have a button, um, uh, just have a button, which is the, like, part that you click, with a click detector, and a script. So, yeah, so you want a click detector and a script in there, in the end part like this and obviously your floor part as well in the same position okay so and then once you have that just put it in replicated storage like this just name it end with capital e because if it's like just end with no capitals roblox tries to like do it as the end of the script or part yeah well it just it doesn't really work if you put it like that so, and then, what you're going to want to do is go to Service Script Service. Oh yeah, this is going to be a bit of a long tutorial this time, I think. Mm. Okay, so, Service Script Service, go to Main. And, under the um, map spawning, make a little spot. And do local and level clone. Whoops. Clone. Equals end level um clone parentheses and then up i forgot up here you need to do local end level equals and then you'll go and then you want to have game dot replicated storage and then whatever you named the end um part so game dot replicated storage dot end so it would be that for me, it's this. Um, okay, and then back down here, enter and level clone. I'm just gonna copy this so it's easier to say. Dot prime, whoops, what did I do? Whoops. Um, dot primary part equals, and so the end level clone dot floor so that just sets the floor part to the main part again and then end level clone dot set no wait um not a dot it's hold on i'm gonna search what it's called i forgot what it's called <laughs> um i forgot to put it in full screen sorry um anyway it's a col colon a colon whatever and then set primary part C frame and then parentheses C frame or you can actually pretty much just copy up the part from up here in the presents parentheses and just put it down here and then change placeholder to game dot work work space dot place or whatever you have um, as your placeholders folder. So place holders for me. Dot floor. Yeah. Um, yep. And then enter again. And then end level clone dot parent. So that's just this is just putting where the clone is. So it's, so it doesn't stay in replicate storage pretty much. Parent equals game dot workspace dot current levels nope that's current camera looks wrong one current levels so that is the spawning for the end map it should work if i just go and test it nope whoops okay yep and yep it's at the end um you can see it's over there i will I'm just going to um, make this so that only two levels spawn so I can get to the end quicker and quickly and test. 
I'm going to set the time at 25 so I have enough time. And I'm going to quickly make this taller so I can actually test it properly. And then spawn. And yep, so you should be able to see the end properly now. Yep, there it is. So the end spawned in with the button at the correct spot, which is good. Okay, so, and then, yep, okay, so, and then, we're going to create the, um, the leader stat, so, like, the wins and, um, so the wins and points and stuff. I am going to put this script in the description, because it's just, like, it's not part, exactly part of the actual game, it's just, it's just quick and it's annoying, it's always annoying to type. So I'm just going to copy this and then put it in a script in server script service and then here it is. This will be in the description in, yeah, it'll be in the description of the video and then just name it leader stats. If you want, um, if you want to rename, um, like, wins or anything to, or points, so just change what this is called here, points, and here, win. So just change this to, like, or points to money, if you want money, or, yeah, just here. You don't need to change the currency. Okay, so when you've, um, just changed it to whatever you want, or kept it the same, you want to go to the end and go to the button with it, with the click detector and the script so in the script do local click detector equals script dot parent whoops um, script dot parent dot click detector so that's just going to the click detect detector and the local oh no wait, we don't need that no wait do we no, okay. <laughs> Whoops. And then click detector dot mouse click colon connect function parentheses and that. And then in that we're going to make it so the player gets like their points and the wins when they click the button. So player well, whoops, um, I forgot, in function, you need to do type player. Okay, so player dot leader stats dot wins, or wins is, will be whatever you put in here. Whatever you put here, you just, um, change to wins, or, I mean, whatever you put here, you change wins here to whatever you put here. Yes, okay. <laughs> anyway, um, this... It's basically this and this needs to be the same. Okay. Leader sets dot wins dot value equals and then we're gonna copy this paste it here and then plus one. So they get like an extra win. You can change this to whatever you, however many wins you want the player to get. And then we're going to change um, copy this and then paste another one and change wins to whatever you have in here. So for me, it's points. Just going to copy that, paste it in, and I'm going to have the player get five points for every win, and then go and then game um, get service replicated storage colon col colon um, find first child, and I'm just and then um, parentheses and. I'm just going to do clicked. Um, you you can technically name it whatever you want, but I'll get to what this is in a second. And then, whoops, fire client parentheses and player. Pretty sure we need player. Um, okay, so that is it for the button script. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the button script and. Now, yeah, um, now you want to go down to rep, wait, yeah, 
in replicated storage, add a remote event, remote event, not function, and just name that whatever you put in here. So for me, it's clicked, and then down in starter player, starter player scripts, add a new local script, and just name this button change or something. Doesn't really matter. Just keep trying to keep it all sorted. And then game colon get service replicated storage colon um, find first child and clicked. So whatever you named the remote event, you put hit in here and dot on client event event. Um, colon connect and function and player actually no wait, we don't need player at all okay we can just get rid of the player we don't actually need that um, then enter so at the end and game dot workspace dot current levels which is the um, where all the levels go when they've been spawned in dot end which is um, your the the clone or the end script part when it goes when it's spawned in dot button which is the which is the button part the like the button part that you click so the button dot brick color Brick, no, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> brick color equals brick color dot new, and then you can choose whatever color you want. So this is the color it becomes when you click it, but it's but I had to do it this way. I'm putting it in the starter play script, so it only happens to the person that clicked it. So. Um, brick color and then just put whatever you want I'm going to put lime green so it's um, so it's going to be white when it whoops um, so it is industrial white yep industrial white um, when it's like sport when it's um, before it's clicked for the player and then I'm just gonna move this back um, and then when you click it it becomes lime green so and then what and then game dot workspace or you can actually just copy the all the way to end dot button and paste it in there and then do dot click detector colon destroy so this makes and then parentheses so this makes it so the player um, can't keep clicking it and earn like getting a million wins even when they've only gotten one win so yep that's done um i just did a tiny bit of testing just to double check that this works and um apparently for some reason it didn't this didn't work and i was just wondering if i actually did need player here and it worked and apparently you do need player in the button script on fire client you do need player in there apparently so but anyway this is what we've done so far so you like it spawns in the end you go click the button turns green gives you a win five points and yeah and then it resets on a new round so there's one more thing that we need to do and that is, I'm just going to close these, that is in the main script in service script service, go to main and down below the timer script and above the, where it like clears all the levels, do for i comma player, player in pairs, game dot players, get children, get children do player colon load k 
character parentheses. So now, when the level restarts, or when the new, um, what, what's it called? Um, when a new round starts, when the timer ends, it will lo make your character reset and go back to the start. So like, I get a win, click the button, and just wait six seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one, zero, and yep, it resets us back to the start or wherever your um, spawn thing is. So I'm going to quickly sh show you how to make it so your leader stats save because you might have er noticed this error thing, um, HTTP forbidden or whatever. So to make the leader stat save, you want to go up to home in the tabs, go game settings up here with the cogwheel thing, and just wait for it to load, and go to um, options, and go to allow HTTP requests, and, oh no wait, no wait, um, whoops, what am I talking about, um, enable studio access to API services, turn that to on, and press save. That's what you do, not HTTP. Okay, yeah, so it's the API one. The should be the middle one. And so when I go in, because it hasn't saved from last um, round, so I go get a win real quick. Click the button. So I click the button. I'm going to stop. And just wait a second, press play and I should have my points and wins saved. Okay, I'd, yeah, okay, there we go. So I have one win and five points still. If I do it again, real quick, before the timer runs out, hopefully, yep. So do it again. I'm just gonna wait for it to reset. And there we go. That I had two point two wins and ten points, and go back in. It, it yep, two wins, ten points. I don't know why it took a second. That's weird, but yeah, it saves. So that yeah, so that is how to make the end for the um your rounds or whatever. Um, yeah, like the end part for your map. Hope, um, yeah, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time, whatever, with, yeah, bye.